the distortions are looking okay, but they're not amazing. Um, let's pull this back a little bit. So I'm not 100% thrilled with the way the knee is bending. So if you see this, the knee is bending, but the whole the whole thigh is, is distorting too, and it makes the look the puppet look a little rubbery. Also, what you'll notice, which can be a real pain, is as I rotate this, where these pins are, you notice how much the bottom of the foot has changed shape? This can be a real, real problem. Uh, it can be really hard to work with. Sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. Uh, the, the best way to start with fixing this is to change the expansion. Uh, expansion basically means uh, the area that the pin affects um, the amount of softness the the uh, the mesh has. Um, so if you decrease decrease the expansion, you get more sharper sharper distortions, and you get less bending and warping around th through the whole shape. Um, I'm gonna put the expansion at 0 0.2. Let's see how that looks. Some it, it can also really wreck it as well, but. I think for our yeah see now I'm getting this really weird stuff happening here. So 0 0.5 was probably more the ideal. I was getting the least amount of distortion in the bottom of the foot. That looks the best. Okay, so now the next thing is is you have to set up your starch tool. Um, the starch tool. If you just go up here and click on the starch tool, so you can make parts of the mesh not distort as easily. It shows up in the in the puppet tool here under stiffness. I have starch one. I have the amount is at 1%, the extent is at 200. If I increase this number, it increases the amount of the mesh that it covers. You can click and drag it and move move the pin. I don't want the middle of the leg to distort, but I don't want to cover up the knee or make any of this stuff too firm because I want this knee area to distort. So I'm going to bring this up just a little bit more. The weird thing about the starch tool is that this 1% you would think is hardly anything and the stiffness of the material would be fairly light, but it's actually not. So if I rotate the knee right now, you'll see like that leg does not move at all, that, that thigh. That's not really what I want. It's way too stiff. So I actually have to put the amount, if I put it to 0.1, it might be better. It's almost like 1% is 100%. It's really stiff. Uh, that's a little better. As you can see, I'm getting a little more natural movement. Because he's wearing clothes, I want it to move at least a little bit. So I'm going to put 0 .05, 0 0.05. And so let's try this again. Uh, the knee, let's rotate the knee. That's, that's better. I'm not loving how much this area here is distorting. Um, knees don't really work that way. Things don't bend into rubber. So there are some things we're going to do about this, but we're, I'm going to continue to play with the starch tool first. So that's our first step. So let's let's start some more areas here. Um, I'll try that one more time because I just moved the starch tool. We want to make sure it's not okay. That's all right. So I'm now going to start some of the boot here. So let's spray some starch there, uh, and let's modify. You can name these if you want to name this like thigh and uh, leg or boot or something, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. 0 0.05 again, and let's put the expansion, well, let's leave it what it's at. Let's see how this looks. Rotate that knee again. That's a little better. It's a little better. I'm still not thrilled about this knee. Let's see what that does. So let's have a look. Actually, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. I'm going to lower the amount of starching on that uh, again to 0.1. See how that looks. It might still be a bit too much. No, I actually like that. Good. I think that's okay. It's decent. All right. So let's uh, let's test with the foot now, really quickly. Let's see how our foot foot is responding. So I'm going to bend this leg here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to starch up the bottom of the foot a little because the bottom of the feet sometimes just get really messy. Um, I'm going to reduce the spread on that to 150. Uh, let's do 100. And let's, I'm going to make the 0 0.05. 
Okay, so let's again, I'm gonna bend the knee, have a look at it. It's looking pretty good. I do think the foot is getting fatter on the top as I bend the leg, the knee. It's not too noticeable, but I think it's definitely happening. Might not have to worry about it, but. So that's, that's bending all right, I don't mind that. It looks okay. Foot is getting a little weird, but once the character's moving, that may not matter too much. Uh, let's rotate the ball of the foot. Yeah, see that toe is not working now um, because of what's going on with the rest of them. Uh, yeah, there's just some weird stuff happening there. I guess like I could starch up some more. Let's let's try a little more starch. So let's just try this again. Let's take the knee. It's important to try extreme positions because these extreme positions are usually where the puppet tool breaks and you need to you need to really play around to see. Um, so let's try this ankle again. And that starch tool seems to have worked. Um, the only thing now is will it will the toe be able to bend? So let's try the ball of the foot. Yeah. It seems to be working actually pretty good. I don't mind that so much. So if he's, let's bend the uh, ankle here like that. And let's make, see what that toe works anymore. Yeah, that's, a, you know what, that's that's actually a lot better. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't, the only thing I don't think I really need is this heel. I don't think I'll ever be rotating that heel. So once you've done rigging a leg, um, one of the things you can do is just lock anything you're not going to use and essentially either turn it off or hide it so that when you're animating you're only dealing with the main parts that you need. So that at the tip of the toe, I'm never going to manipulate that. I can't do anything with it. It's it's really, the tip of the toe is really just a point so that I could anchor the ball of the foot onto so that it could cause some kind of rotation. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the starch on the foot intensity again the amount is just a bit too much but I still want it relatively high um, let's see if that wrecks anything da -da -da -da. there we go it's okay and ankle there's a little bit of weirdness happening but not too bad it's it's relatively good okay um, and again the other thing is if a lot of strange stuff is happening you can increase your mesh count I don't recommend it Every time I've increased the mesh count, things get really slow. So unless you have a really crazy good computer, I just wouldn't recommend it.